and after greeting his old companion Shin says that he didn't think he would find him alive, making Gerard laugh since even he didn't know how he was still alive. But anyway he wanted to start the introductions by the current king of beasts Wolfgang and his daughter Kuor. In addition to his confidants Van and Rajam and Shin introduces himself formally. But Gerard asks his master to speak normally, what Shin also asks to he since he never called him master, and Gerard asks him to turn a blind eye. After all he was talking like that to break the tension of others, because in this world the superior humans were seen as beings with absurd power who should be feared and revered. And a while later the two go to talk outside and Gerard reminds him of a battle where they face thousands of creatures and Shin admits that he thought he would lose his life that day and Gerard decides to talk about the events of the last 500 years, which SCHNE had already done leaving Gerard disappointed, since he wanted to brag a little. But as the girl knew him she knew he would overdo it by doing Shin laughs while. SCHNE was going to make tea for the two who are talking and Shin tells him. About the defeat of the last boss and how he stopped in 500 years in the future, making Gerard realize that this was the reason he didn't find him. After all he got into something very strange, but somehow this was great for Gerard who gets serious and goes straight to the point by saying that soon he would lose his life and probably had less than a month to live. Since a few weeks ago he began to feel that something was wrong and when SCHNE told him that he was back he noticed that time began to flow over him again, as if he was just waiting for his return and maybe the gods had heard his prayers, since as a last wish he wanted Shin to duel with him leaving Shin is surprised to realize that Gerard was planning to lose his life as a warrior during a battle, and Gerard confesses that he wanted to find out how far his prey could go against a superhuman, and how he and Shin decide to accept and asks if he told about it to the others and Gerard replies that he talked about his life expectancy but not about his desire for dueling despite imagining that his confidants must have realized what he wanted. After all, they had fought together since his disappearance, and they were still by his side, because they were the types of beasts that had the longest life, and maybe it's time for this nation to be freed from their influence so that the new generation can take over. And Shin comments that he learned that Wolfgang was an exceptional ruler, which Gerard agrees with since he walked alongside the people, and always he listened to them, and Shin asked him if he hadn't left anything behind, and Gerard replies that only the duel against him remains. And before continuing, I'm already leaving that subscription to help this beginner reach the goal of a thousand subscribers this month as a birthday present. So I'm already enjoying and commenting a lot. That this helps me a lot to keep bringing videos to you, but now let's go to the anime. And that night Gerard announces that he had found the place where he would lose his life and had already told them how much time he had left and so he asked Shin to duel him before his time runs out and this duel would take place in a week, where finally his wish would come true. But Kor questions how everyone could be so calm and Gerard replies that he had a long life where he saw his companions she confesses that she didn't know why she lived so long, but in a week he would have an answer. And would like her to be there to witness with everyone the last and greatest battle of his life. While Shin was pensive with Yuzuha, and as for Gerard, he thought he had always admired Shin, and when he disappeared Gerard had a single gigantic regret that made the world dull, since without Shin he gave up on his wish thinking it would never come true, but he was grateful that Shin granted his wish. And so the days went by and Shin repaired Gerard's old gauntlets and handed him over during the night, so that he could fight with everything he had, making Gerard admit that it even seemed like they went back in time and was happy that their battle would be the next day. But Gerard gets serious and decides to ask Shin a question. But the boy already knew that he was going to ask about SCHNE what Gerard confirms, after all. She wanted to know if he would return to his world if he found a way. And if he would leave SCHNE behind, making Shin remember several moments with her and ends up confirming that this was the reason why he kept fighting and Gerard admits that this was something difficult and Shin replies that he wanted a way to solve everything between him and SCHNE and Gerard reminds him that he always called himself in the face of self-interest when he was in trouble. Since he wanted everything to happen his way to reach a happy ending, where everyone lived happily ever after. Which was difficult for both of them, but at least Gerard was looking forward to what would happen the next day. And as soon as dawn dawns they go to a mountain where everyone would watch the battle, and where Gerard says goodbye to his companions, and where Wolfgag promises to take care of everyone, and Kor promises to become a warrior worthy of the lineage of the first king, and now Gerard had to go. But before one of his companions recognizes that he hasn't seen him smiling like that in a long time, and even looked like a happy child and Wolfgang, consoles their daughter, since they would witness together. The fulfillment of the first king's wish. And in the forest, the two begin the battle followed by several explosions from the impact of their blows, leaving everyone impressed by the power of the first king. But SCHNE tells them that they should already be finishing the warm-up, 
leaving Tierra impressed and curious about whether her master would be as strong as them, and as CHNE admits that even she would suffer quite a bit when facing Gerard, which meant that she was stronger, and Kaur stays impressed by the battle between a superior. Human and Gerard, who admits that the techniques he developed to fight Shin were useless, but Shin knew that he was stronger than that and he was right. Since Gerard decides to bet everything on what would come next and asks him to consider him a simple prey from now on. And Gerard assumes his beast form and thinks he knew how Shin was feeling and remembers the conversation from the night before where Shin told him that he would not use the titles he acquired by defeating the last boss since relying on such unfair abilities would not be cool and Gerard admits that he understood him since if he had been in his place he would have done the same. But even if it ends in a blink I eyed he wanted to fight a Shin using full force. And Gerard says that this was the only moment that his fangs could reach him and goes at Shin dodging his magic and Shin questions if he imagined that he could beat him with this which Gerard denies and positions himself to show him his ultimate technique, legendary excellence that shoots at Shin, who manages to hold the blow and admits that it was too heavy and ends up being surprised by Gerard behind him, who tries to strike him with a sequence of blows that leaves Shin impressed and despite. Having blocked them all, he thinks he couldn't imagine how long he needed to develop this strategy and admits that he was being pathetic since Gerard was risking his life, while he wasn't giving it his all and apologizes to Gerard for not having taken this fight with full force and starts to use his ability leaving Gerard excited, and with the two techniques collide generating a gigantic explosion, and SCHNE announces that soon the fight would be over and with the impact of the skills the two. Weapons break and Gerard takes advantage of the gap to finally land a small punch on Shin that makes Gerard smile. While Shin asked if he was okay, but Gerard ends up running out of strength and returns to his human form with a smile on his face when admitting that this would be the end and Shin admits that he was surprised that he hit him and Gerard replies that he didn't live 500 years for nothing and finally managed to make his fangs reach him and finally got his wish and as a reward for hitting him he wanted to ask for something leaving Shin. Curious then Gerard admits that he was happy to have fought him. Using his full strength but knew that he had even more power making Shin a little sad, and so he distances himself from Gerard and releases his power making Gerard admit that he had no idea he was so powerful and says goodbye to his friend who uses his power to grant him eternal rest. And as soon as the battle ends, Shin takes him to his comrades and asks them to raise their heads, since their king managed to hit a superior human, which meant that Gerard has risen to his level and his companions ask the king and his daughter to look at Gerard's face which was with an expression of satisfaction, and sure as hell didn't carry any regrets, which they agreed to while SCHNE noticed something wrong with Shin. And that night the beast people said goodbye to the first king while Shin was carrying a weight, and after the goodbye SCHNE finds him and runs to hug him, and says that it looked like he was about to disappear somewhere, and promises that he would do anything for him, so if he wanted something he just had to ask her making Shin start crying, while saying that he knew that was what Gerard wanted, but say goodbye to one friend was something very. Painful and SCHNE replies that he did his duty so he could cry since it was okay to be sad. And in this mood we end the 8th episode. Thank you very much to those who stayed so far and don't forget to like and comment a lot, in addition to subscribing to the channel to help this beginner. Thank you and see you next time.